welcome to our daily devotion from the Treasury of Daily Prayer on this Tuesday after Pentecost. And today our reading is from Luke chapter 22, uh, starting with the 24th verse. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. And Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors, but not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the leader as one who serves. For who is greater, one who reclines at table or one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at table? But I am among you as the one who serves. You are those who have stayed with me in my trials, and I assign to you, as my Father assigned to me, a kingdom, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Our devotional writing for today uh, comes to us from Clement of Rome. Uh, he was Bishop of Rome at the, the end of the first century. And uh, Clement writes this, Let our whole body then be preserved in Christ Jesus, and let everyone be subject to his neighbor, according to the special gift bestowed on him. Let the strong not despise the weak, and let the weak show res respect to the strong. Let the rich man provide for the wants of the poor, and let the poor man bless God, because he has given him someone by whom his needs may be supplied. Let the wise man display his wisdom not by words, but through good deeds. Let the humble not bear testimony to himself, but leave someone else to witness about him. Let him who is pure in the flesh not grow proud of it and boast, knowing that someone else bestowed on him the gift of self-control. Let us consider then, brothers, from what matter we were made, who and what manner of beings we came into the world, as it were from a grave and from utter darkness. He who made us and fashioned us, having prepared his bountiful gifts for us before we were born, introduced us into his world, these things therefore being known to us, and since we look into the depths of the divine knowledge, it is necessary to do all things in their proper order, which the Lord has commanded us to perform at stated times. Let every one of you, brothers, give thanks to God in his own order, living in all good conscience, with becoming gravity, and not going beyond the rule of the ministry prescribed to him. The apostles have preached the gospel to us from the, Lord, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has done so from God. Christ, therefore, was sent forth by God and the apostles by Christ. Both these appointments, then, were made in an orderly way, according to the will of God. Having therefore received their orders, and being fully assured by the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and established in the word of God, with full assurance of the Holy Spirit, they went forth proclaiming that the kingdom of God was at hand, and thus preaching through, through countries and cities, they appointed the first fruits of their labors, having first proved them by the Spirit to be bishops and deacons of those who should afterward believe. This devotional writing um, from Clement is uh, his letter to the church at Corinth, um, which he wrote uh, sometime around the end of the first century. So Clement actually knew uh, some of the apostles. Uh, he knew Peter, um, and uh, uh, Clement here is um, in this in this letter um, is making a, an appeal to the Corinthian church not to be divided 
And that uh, seems to be something that, that the church in Corinth experienced quite a lot because Paul made the same appeal to the same church in his epistles to the Corinthians um, uh, some uh, 50 years earlier. And uh, Clement basically makes the case to them for them to be humble and for them not to, for, for them to be humble and also for them to know what their, what they have been called to, what their station is in the church, to know uh, that God is a God of order, he's a God of peace, and he calls all of them to be humble in whatever uh, position that God has called them to be in. And he, he, bases, uh, he bases this on the order that God has instituted by God the Father sending Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ sending his apostles and the apostles establishing uh, bishops of the churches and, uh, and then pastors. And all of this was done in an orderly way for the building up of the church and for peace. And as our Lord Jesus says, um, his, his uh, apostles and their successors, those who are in the office of the ministry, are to be um, servants of the flock. They are to, to serve them and to love them and lay down their life for them. Um, and that is what uh, Clement is is calling for for the, the church in Corinth. Um, and uh, it's a, an important thing for us all to remember that in the church, the church works when everyone um, has is humble in in their in they are um, humble in their station that they are in and and they don't whatever it is position that they are in that they do their work with humility um, that they love one another that they love everyone in the church and that is so important for us always to remember that Christ has taught us humility and and we learn this from Christ himself uh, who humbled himself for us and so therefore we are to humble ourselves for the sake of one another let us pray Lord Jesus, the two swords of the disciples were enough to show themselves as sinners, fulfilling the prophecy of Isaiah that you would be numbered with the transgressors, and yet you promised that they would eat and drink with you at your table in your kingdom, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Help us to remember that you invite transgressors to your holy supper, where we are welcome to receive the forgiveness of all our sins. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace.